What we'll do here is take a look at how to draw the ray diagrams for a converging or concave mirror. The first thing we'll need is the center of curvature, which is really the uh, spherical radius of the of the mirror. And of course, uh, halfway between the center and the mirror itself, we're going to find the focal point. And so the focal point is right there. Those are two very important points. Now here's our object and it's a certain height it has a, a height h o for a height of the object and of course in order to find out where the image is we do three lines we really only need two but it makes a better diagram with three so the first line is we draw parallel to the principal axis from the tip of the object to the mirror it always reflects through the focal point so there's our first ray and we'll join all these three rays up uh, after now the second ray we draw is from the tip of that object through the focal point. And so we go through the focal point and of course since it's gone through the focal point it will reflect parallel to the principal axis. And of course it's going to intersect with that first ray we drew and the third ray that we draw which is not entirely necessary is through the center of curvature and of course it always reflects back on itself and so now we have those three rays let's just draw those and the first ray of course the blue through the focal point the second ray through the focal point and then reflecting parallel and the third ray through the center of curvature notice they all reflect and uh, can be joined at that uh, final point and of course that's where the tip of the image will be you'll notice some of the characteristics of this image number one it is inverted uh, because it's inverted that makes it a real image all right which could be then uh, shown on a piece of paper the other thing is is that it's larger than the object and therefore it's been magnified and of course there's mathematics that you can use to find out what the magnification is. Now if we move the object beyond the center of curvature the same three rays have to be drawn but we'll see a different uh, a different result. So here's our object now this time it's outside the uh, center of curvature let's draw the three rays one is parallel and then through the focal point. Another one is through the focal point and then parallel and as you can see that's all we really have uh, required. Uh, where those two lines intersect that's where our object or our image will be but the third line just verifies that through the center of curvature it intersects at the same point and this is where our image is going to be. Notice this time it's still inverted therefore it's real but in this case it's a little bit smaller than the uh, than the object. The image is inverted, smaller and real. And here's another scenario where you have the uh, object is very very close to the mirror inside the focal point. Let's see what happens here. Uh, this is a little more difficult and you have to really uh, pay attention to these ones and practice them up. So the first one is we draw a line parallel to the uh, to the principal axis and then it's reflected uh, through the focal point. Uh, the second one is of course uh, as if it were coming from the focal point and then it will be parallel and then the third one is through the center of curvature. Now notice that these three lines don't intersect on the left side of the mirror but if you extend those three lines okay then of course we uh, extend them beyond the mirror or behind the mirror and those three lines intersect at a point behind the mirror and if we draw the image there we notice some of the characteristics of the, the image. First of all it's not upside down it's right side up and the fact that it's right side up means it is a virtual image. All right, Real images are always upside down virtual images are always right side up. So this is a virtual image that is larger than the object. All right, So it's been magnified and of course uh, uh, looking into a spoon and looking at your nose reflected on the spoon you can see these these different types of images as you move further and closer to the spoon you see uh, sometimes you'll see a magnified image and sometimes you'll see a smaller image that's upside down and sometimes you'll see a larger image that ups that is upside down depending on where your nose is relative to the focal point of the uh, of the spoon. 